What a nice looking crew and parents, thank you for being here this afternoon. I started to say morning, but it's not morning. If you would, before we get started, if you would please join me in saying our Pledge of Allegiance. If you would please stand. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may be seated. And again, welcome fifth grade students and staff, other Heartland Elementary staff, and welcome parents. Um, things are starting to lighten up a little bit and we're able to have uh, you all back in the building. I heard some of you say, well, I haven't been here in two years. Yes, we've not literally had people in the building for two years and we haven't had a DARE graduation in two years. So we have to get used to this again, but what a great way to start off. This is a wonderful group of fifth grade students. Uh, we are very fortunate that we have a safety resource officer who we share with G.C. Burkhead throughout the school year, and he has been able to come in and do DARE uh, orientation uh, lessons with our students this year. So at this time, I'm going to turn our program over to Officer Bowling. Thank you all very much. Hey, first of all, I would... Uh, like to recognize this group of students. Uh, we had a very good group. Uh, definitely appreciate their commitment to this program and they are very extraordinary. And I want to thank each parent who showed up today for your, thank you for all your support and uh, during these uh, 10 weeks of our dare, appreciate y'all's support with the kids. Uh, I want to give a special thanks to Mrs. Campbell, uh, Mrs. Mahone, Mrs. Nall, Mrs. Rodriguez, and Mrs. Hornback for all y'all's uh, adjustable schedules to let this program be possible. Really appreciate it. As well as the Harlan County Board of Education and Elizabethtown Police Department for making all this possible. Uh, just want y'all to know my top priority uh, being here as a school resource officer is the safety of your child as well as the school. Uh, anybody ever needs anything, you let me know. Uh, it's a big blessing to be here every day and also the do this program with children. So thank you very much, I appreciate it. Uh, let me talk a little bit about DARE, uh, what we've been doing. Uh, anybody is aware DARE is a drug abuse resistance education. Uh, during these 10 weeks, we talked uh, about a variety of things as, such as bullying, uh, peer pressure. We talked a little bit about decision-making, uh, effective listening, as well as uh, communication. Uh, they also talked about the use of uh, alcohol and uh, tobacco, but different health effects of it. And uh, like I said, we also, a big one we always use forever lesson was the DARE decision maker model. They became familiar with that and what we've done with that was implement that into different situations. They had different situations that they went through and this is helping them with their decision making anytime they are approached with peer pressure and, and these different topics. Uh, each student was given the opportunity to do a DARE essay. Uh, I read some very good essays. Uh, very hard to make a decision between the first, second, third places of these classes. Like I said, like I, said I had several. Read through them at nighttime, me and my wife did. Uh, I read some very good ones. Uh, again, uh, thank you all for everything and let's uh, keep supporting these children and let's keep the education going at home as well as in the school. Thank you all very much. I appreciate it. At this time, we'll start calling the teachers in the classes. So, Ms. Hornback, if you want to come up. Presley Bland, you want to come on up? Presley got the um, top spot for her DARE essay in my class, and she is going to read it for you. Have you ever been in DARE before? Well, I have. This is about how I've used it and how I plan to use it. This topic is how I've used it. First, I was at I was a bystander at first. For a bit, a kid in the second or third grade was getting bullied. In, bullied. in this scenario, he was, he was getting bullied for, for a while, but when it got so bad that he was told to kill himself, and that was whenever I decided to tell a teacher. Second, I've told people, second, I've told people it's bad for your teeth. Oh, 
Second, I've told people smoking is bad for your teeth. One time I caught someone smoking and said, that's gross and your teeth are gonna be yellow. Lastly, it helped me with stress. For, for example, one time in cheer I was, I, for example, one time in cheer I was, I was really stressed out because I dropped my flyer and that really stressed me out. That's what I've used, that's D.A.R.E. things that I've used. This is how I plan to use D.A.R.E. One, 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 white, one way I'm gonna use D.A.R.E. is when I'm a lot older. First off, I'm going to, first off, when I'm older and turn old enough to drink and smoke, I'm not, I'm not because I'll remember smoking is bad for your teeth and drinking gives you memory loss. Another way I'll use it is use it if I get bullied. For instance, if I get bullied, I would rather I would have one of my friends talk to to him, her, or they, and then it would keep and then if it kept going, I would say something. Finally, I'll use it for risky situations. Let's say someone asked me to drink. I would use the their decision make a model and the problem they want me to drink. My choices are yes or no and I pick no because it's the best choice. Therefore therefore dare help. In conclusion, that is how I would I would have used and will use dare to stay safe. That is why I'm always use it. When you do dare, you will do the same thing. When you do dare, will you do the same thing? Chloe Alfred. Chloe, walk back. Kayton Atwell. Presley Bland. Do you want to, Presley, wait to get your. Yes, she was our first place um, Dare Essay winner for my class. <laughs> Bentley Chestnut. Gabe Colgan. Yeah, we're out of order there. Preston Clayton. Chelsea Dagrapont, Holly David, Weston Frank, Iris Gill, Brooklyn Givedon, Aaron Marchuski, sorry, Marchuski, sorry. Oh, I have two of them. Gavin Matthews. Noah McIntyre. John Montgomery. Anthony Moss. Ricardo Olvera. Michelle Osoro. She was our third place dare essay for my class. <laughs> Gia Parik, Brayden Phillips, Rachel Semerneski, and Ava Wallace. She was our second place dare essay winner, Kayton. All right, this is Adelaide Seedler, and she's going to read her essay. Dear reader, I have a I have learned tons of responsibilities and safety throughout Dare. That will help me in 
and a ton of people too. I've learned that D.A.R.E. officer explained to me that drugs don't do good and deteriorate your health. Specifically, if you take drugs, you will not have enough energy to participate in activities. I've learned that the simplest sayings or doings can lead to bad situations. For example, if you lied to your friend and she found out, she might not want to trust you anymore for lying. I use the D.A.R.E. decision-making model to make my hard decisions from hard situations. For instance, if a friend asked me to shoplift with them, I had to make a decision if I would do it or not do it. What I plan to use from what I've learned from D.A.R.E. is on a diffi difficult situations. As a result, I will be positive, responsible, and respectful. In conclusion, I've learned lots of responsibilities and safety throughout D.A.R.E. I hope other students are ready to be awesome, just like D.A.R.E. did to me. Okay, Thomas Barnett, and starting right off the bat, Thomas Barnett was our third place winner, so. <laughs> Eli Barno. Scott Bennett. Briley Childers. Kalia Cochran, Lydia Deloach, Sorry, I put them in ABC order, not based off this list, but based off real life. <laughs> Sorry. All right, Bryson Dunler. Claire Gravel. Aiden Helms. Addison Howard. Addison Howard was our second place winner, so. Get the metal. <laughs> Holton Jaggers, Veer Kurana, Kendra Livingood, Abigail Manus. Bobby Moss, Janvi Park, Sydney Payne, Adelaide Seedler, she's the first place. So, Hunter Swim. Hank Waddell, Lily White, Bryson Williams, 
and Lauren Wilson. At this time, we'll have Ms. Nall and her essay winner come down. Um, first of all, I love you all dearly, but I barely have a voice. So Ms. Rodriguez is going to help me out. I'm very proud of you, um, Ms. Rodriguez. This is our first place w uh, winner, Lily Tucker. Would you like to read? I'll stand by you. Hold up. <laughs> choices and, and here's why. First, it helps me personally figure out just how bad smoking is. For example, did you know more than four, 400,000 Americans die from tobacco-related causes each year? Second, I know how some of the effects of alcohol... Wait, no, I read it wrong. For instance, there's loss of coordin coordination memory loss, and slow reflexes. And that's only some effects. I also learned about bullying. Specifically, I now know what to do as a bystander and the one being bullied. In conclusion, <coughs> there could really help. Maybe you could consider trying it. First, we have Adam Abarab, Damon Bailey, Tristan Bailey, Alexis Barden, Aubrey Belcher, excuse me. Aubrey Belcher, there we go. Rihanna Burnett. Yeah. <laughs> Raymond Ferguson. Ryan Flett Jacobs. Carter Fuller. John Wesley Harper. Sorry, and that was also our second place essay winner for Miss Knoll's class. <laughs> Easton Jack. TJ Madrid. Eloise McIntyre. Aaliyah O'Dell. Abby Powers, who is our third place essay winner. <laughs> Charlie Rush. Daniel Salazar. Isabel Skaggs. Maddox Thompson, and Lillian Tucker, our first place essay winner for Ms. Moss Pass. Have you ever wondered what we do in D.A.R.E.? Things that I have learned in D.A.R.E. are ways to get away from bad situations, how to help or report bullying, and to make smart and responsible choices. One thing I've learned from D.A.R.E. is avoiding bad situations. One way is avoiding the situation. For example, if you know somewhere people like to smoke and drink alcohol, avoid that area. 
Another way is saying no and running away. Running or walking away. For instance, someone approaches, if someone approaches you, you and asks you to smoke, say no and run away. A way to avoid a bad situation is changing the subject. One example for this is if someone asks you to smoke or drink alcohol, just say no, let's play something instead. As you can see, these are ways to get out of bad situations. An example of what I've learned from D.A.R.E. is how to help a friend report the bully. One way to report a bully is to give a note to a teacher. For instance, if you don't want to say it in front of everyone, just give a note to the teacher. A way to help your friend is to be a bystander that does something good to help. For example, if someone is bullying your friend and you see it, a good bystander would help them by standing up for them or getting an adult. Another way to report bullying is to tell a trusted adult. An example is if you witness someone being bullied, you could tell a teacher or the principal. As you can see, these are ways to report bullying and ways to help your friend when they are being mistreated. Another thing I've learned to dare is making safe and responsible choices. One way to make a safe slash responsible choice is to say no to cigarettes. For example, if a person asks you to smoke, say no because cigarettes could cause cancer and other health problems. Another way to make safe slash responsible choices is to say no to alcohol. For instance, if someone offers you alcohol, say no because it could kill you and has killed a lot of people. A way to be safe or responsible is to avoid strangers that come near you. An example of this is if a stranger is following you around, you should probably either run and tell a trusted adult or run where everyone else is so the stranger won't follow you anymore. As you can see, these are ways to make safe and responsible choices. In conclusion, I have learned many things in D.A.R.E. Some things I have learned in D.A.R.E. are ways to avoid bad situations, how to help someone being bullied or report the bully, and how to make safe and responsible choices. I hope D.A.R.E. can teach other kids just like it has taught me. Eleanor Carr. Ashley Cole, Michaela Colver, Kale Conrads, Tristan Donhauer, Lily Dixon, our third place essay winner, Nathan Hall. Caleb Hodgkins, Asher Holland, Azaria Horn Foster, Rayleigh Hunt, Colton McClurl, McClure, <laughs> Riley Miller, Ariel Morales. Landon Napier, our first place essay winner. Chris, Krish Parra. Mylia Paul. Brendan Ross. Jaden Sweeney, Kylie Weems, Anaya West, our second place essay winner. And Jasmine Williams. Give our fifth grade students another round of applause, please. We're very, very proud of you all. So I know we've recognized our awesome students, but we can't help but recognize our awesome SRO, DARE officer. On behalf of the faculty, staff, and students here at Heartland Elementary, Officer Bowling, we want to just give you a small token of our appreciation and say thank you for all you do. We're so very lucky to have you here at Heartland.
And before we close, boys and girls, I just want to, as a parent who's had three students go through D.A.R.E., you may think, oh, I'm never going to use this. Absolutely false. You, if you really paid attention to the D.A.R.E. lessons that Officer Bowling were, went over with you, you could use the D.A.R.E. decision-making model every single day of your life. My boys are in, my daughter's in high school, and my sons are in college, and they still to this day talk about how awesome the D.A.R.E. program was. So do not forget what you have learned. You will use it all the time, okay? Also, as I like what Landon said in his letter, you find somebody that you trust, whether it be a parent, adult, somebody, whenever you feel uncomfortable. If your head, your heart, and your gut don't align together, chances are that means it's not a good decision or somebody's tr uh, trying to get you to make a poor choice. So just remember that. We love you very much. Your parents love you very much as well. And they're on your side at all times. Parents, again, thank you so much for being here today. Ms. Dumbler's class, your class has been exceptional. Thank you for being a great audience and all the other staff members that chose to join us today. This does conclude our day of graduation. I think Officer Bowling, I told you I couldn't share all 130, I couldn't eat all 134 donuts. I think he brought those for you and not me. So again, thank you parents for sharing your wonderful children with us. Officer Bowling does have a treat to give you here at the end. Thank you and have a great evening. I hope I didn't give that away. Or did you want to say anything? <laughs> I think it's back on. Yes. I just want to thank everybody again for being here. And again, help yourself. Uh, there are students. Uh, Y'all start out over there. Water, donuts. Then it is left over. Y'all welcome. Thank you all.